In my many years of walking with the Lord, I have discovered that salvation is free, but it will cost you to walk this walk. Even Jesus said, add up the cost, because it's going to cost you to walk with him. Jesus gave his life for us. God poured his wrath on Jesus so he could pour his love on us. You know, if the prayer is, dear Lord Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross for our sins. Please forgive us. Come into our lives. We receive you as our Lord and our Savior. Now help us to live for you the rest of our lives. Help us to live the way you want us to live. So when you get born again, you are new in Christ Jesus. It's so many people are so confused about what actually happens when they give their lives to the Lord. What does born again mean? Nicodemus, who was an expert Jewish teacher, asked Jesus, what does this mean? He couldn't figure it out. So why is it they're making it so easy for us to figure it out? It's not easy. John 3, 4, Nicodemus is asking you, hey, look, I don't know what this means, but Jesus tells him, to, you have to be born again. You have to renew your mind. To be born again means you are made new. Not you are an improved person. You are a new person in Christ Jesus. It means to come into being, to be, to, to be changed. So let God change your heart, change your mind, renew you in the things of his word. Romans 12, 1 and 2 tells us to be not conformed. To this world, but be transformed by the renewing of our mind. And faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. God rewards those who diligently seek him. God will give you your heart's desire if you seek him. We have to pray. We have to change. It took you 32 years to get here, that old person, but yet we're going to church and thinking, oh, we're going to change overnight. No, you have to renew your mind. You have to be taught the word of God. You have to change. It's not about morality. You can smoke and go to heaven. It's not about you stop smoking. Oh, now I'm saved. There are saved people that smoke and there are unsaved people that smoke as well. But you have to trust God. Let God lead you. Let him guide you. Father, we thank you for salvation right now. In the name of Jesus, we thank you that you chose us, that you called us, that our names are written in the palm of your hand, that our names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. For thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for being our Savior. And we leave this prayer in your hand that you're going to teach us how to walk with you, how to love you. In Jesus' name, amen.